let's go through some harder examples of vector journeys. So let's look at this. We've got a trapezium and M is the midpoint of AC. So before we get into depth of any uh, journeys, which sides are parallel and how do you know? Pause, press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, so you should have noticed that BC and AD are parallel. If you look at BC, it is two lots of A and AD is three lots of A. Well, A is just the same vector. So what, we, what we've got here is that BC is two lots of this vector A, which would go in the same direction as the, other, as the vector 3A. However, 3A would be bigger. Let's have a go at this. So write the vector DC in terms of A and B. Pause. When you're ready to continue, press play. Okay, so we're going from D to C. And the way we, what we'd do, we'd use the vectors that we've got in order to work that out. So D to C would be the same as D to A add A to B, add B to C. So let's replace those with the A and B notation. So D to A, so we've got negative 3A, because we're going in the opposite direction. Add A, add 3B, plus 2A. And that's what we've got on this second line here. So this expression here can be simplified. So we've got negative 3A, but we're adding A and we're adding 2A to it. So we, that ends up cancelling. So we end up with just 3B. Let's have a go at another one. So the, write the vector AM in terms of A and B. And as a reminder, A to M is half of A to C because M is the midpoint. Okay, so pause, have a go. Press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, so what's very important here is you've got to realize A to M is half of A to C. So we know A to C is A plus 3B plus 2A. So A to C would be 3A plus 3B. And A to M is half of that, so it would be half all of that there okay good luck with your work